Hello Gemini, how are you guys doing today? Today's tarot reading is all about the blessings that are coming towards you. This reading is for March 2020, but the topic is very timeless. So if you're finding this reading at a future date, um, it may still have messages for you. So don't hesitate to watch. Um, today I will be using my Wildwood Tarot. I will be using my Gem Oracle as well as my Wisdom of the Oracle deck. I do want to take the opportunity to thank you guys so much. Um, talking about blessings, I mean the growth and the community that is being formed and created around this channel. I feel so blessed. I feel so thankful. I. I can't even put into words how much your love and support means to me. Like it's it's truly amazing and I feel so incredibly blessed and just thank you. Um if you are new here, again, the community around this channel has become so amazing. And if you want to join, just hit that subscribe button. And I can't wait to get to know you. Like, introduce yourself in the comments. I'd love to uh, know who you are. Okay? So anyways, let's get into this tarot reading. This tarot reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you don't know what your Moon or Rising signs are, uh, let me know down in the comments below. And I will um, help you find out that information. Okay? Okay, so we are talking about the blessings coming for Gemini. Oh, blessings are coming for Gemini. Thank you. Endurance and the Great Bear. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to go with this card. Celebration. And the sun of life. Okay. I feel like... You guys have been going through a little bit of a hard time. Maybe not even necessarily a hard time, but it feels like where you want to go. Um, it feels like it's been a long journey um, or you feel like it's a never ending journey. Like it's just like, it just keeps going and just, it never seems like the end is near. There always seems to be an obstacle. When you think you're getting close to whatever it is that you want to achieve, there's some kind of obstacle. Um, but I feel like this blessing that is coming up is in regards to whatever this long journey has been. You've put in the hard work. This five of stones here, this is the endurance card. And then we have the great bear here. Um, so like this, I feel, is like something that you've been working on, something you have been doing. This could be... Um, like a personal development journey, this could be uh, a job, this could be finance, finance related, this could even be relationship uh, related, but I feel like you've been on this, we're going to say journey, um, just to sum up all those different topics, you've been on this journey for a while, like you've really decided that you are in this for the long run and you are willing to do it. You're willing to put in the hard work because you know that the end goal is something that you really want. But again, along this journey, you keep feeling like you've been hitting these these blocks. And um, whatever this blessing is, I'm feeling like you almost feel like you're going to come up upon this block. But the blessing is going to be that the block isn't there. This block has been removed. And you are going to, if not reach your goal, be one step closer to it. Um, 
I heard the word marriage, so I don't know if someone's in a relationship and it's just like, you know, you feel like either you haven't had the right partner or you've been in this relationship for so long and when is your partner going to propose? Like that very well could be coming up. Um, like this celebration, but the sun of life, like this is what you've been dreaming of. This is what you've been passionate about. And these two cards came out together. I mean, they came out with a whole bunch of stuff too, but these are the ones that called to me when they jumped out of the deck. And so I feel like this really, this is your blessing. This is something you're celebrating. And look at all this fire energy. Like it's very interesting here, okay? So we've got the fire here, and we've got the fire here. There's also fire on the sun card. But we also have here, we've got the aurora borealis behind this bear, which is caused by solar flares. So there's so much solar energy, so much passionate energy, so much... I, oh, I don't even know what the word, like excitement so much I'm like I'm almost feeling giddy with excitement over this and um so whatever it is whatever you've been working on I'm feeling like you're kind of you're getting over the hill you've been climbing the mountain and you've had all sorts of different um blocks to your route you know just as using a nature reference you know there was been trees across the path um, the bear in your way, the, like, there's just been so much in your way, but you're finally reaching the summit of your mountain, and you're going to be able to celebrate and enjoy what you have worked so hard and what you have waited so long to bring into your life. power and come to the edge yeah come to the edge like at the summit of a mountain um yeah like you're you're there you've reached your goal you're there and this higher power I feel like this card is telling us that you have finally started to trust yourself and that is really what's going to bring about this transition this blessing is the fact that you are starting to trust yourself and trust your higher power trust your higher self um, trust the universe. You've decided to give up the doubts and just continue going for what it is that you want to go for. And it's really going to start, um, bringing rewards to you, bringing this blessing to you, whatever it was that you wanted to achieve, like whether this is taking a relationship to the next level, whether this is, um, your business taking off and becoming successful, whether this is a promotion at work, um, you know, you have put in the work, you've put in the hours, you've put in the effort, um, you have survived the blocks that have been put up, the trials, the tests that have been um, a part of this journey, and it's it's time to celebrate. It's your you're very close to your manifestation. Fossilized wood. Interesting. So we have fossilized wood, which is an earth element stone. Is it? I guess it's not even really stone. It's wood, right? Um, but this is this is a very spiritual stone. Like in the fact that it's come out with a higher power. Um, it's very. Very interesting. I just realized we have 19 and then 20, which is whenever I see numbers like that, like, you know, like the, um, a sequence of numbers, that is progress, that is moving forward. Um, but yeah, fossilized wood, this is, um, this is evolution, this is, It is um, seeing more. Like it's a very again, it's very it's very spiritual, and um, it's 
a Taurus. It's um you know like what once was a plant is now this I guess it's I guess it's a stone now because it's fossilized, right? Um, so again, it's the transition from what it was into what it is now. But very grounding down to earth, which is balancing out this very higher power spiritual energy. So, you know, it's like the balance that, yes, you are a spiritual being, but you're living this human experience and you need to balance the two. But it's very... <laughs> Um, my son's playing a video game and he's having the time of his life right now. <laughs> so I'm sorry if you can hear him yelling in the background. Let me know down in the comments below if you play Fortnite. Because that's what they are playing. The new battle pass is coming. <laughs> um, but yeah, like just I think this blessing is really going to come out for you um, by trusting yourself and coming to the edge and trusting in your higher power. And then it's, you know... This celebration is something that you've been working for. And so, you know, be excited for this because you deserve it. You've been working for it. And this blessing is almost, you know, it's not a blessing from the universe in a way because you have worked so damn hard for this and you are deserving of it. And, you know, it's... It's a blessing that is so well deserved. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm very excited that you guys have the tenacity to keep pushing forward. Um, and if you feel like there's still more, more on this journey, then do remember that what you are working on is worth the effort that you are putting in. And this blessing will come of it, okay? So that is my reading for you, Taurus. If you enjoyed this tarot reading, please hit the subscribe button. No, this isn't Taurus. This is just Taurus energy. This is Gemini. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, Geminis, I'm so sorry. I was looking at this card and yeah, okay. If you enjoyed this reading, Gemini, please hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. I like to think that Mercury retrograde doesn't affect me, but... Clearly, I'm saying that it's Taurus because I'm looking at a card. So if you haven't seen my Mercury retrograde video, I will link it up above. Um, it's all about how you can survive Mercury retrograde. Um, love, light, and happiness to all of you. Have a fantastic day. Bye, Gemini.